the swing arm is um, um, it's a totally different unit than than like it's a new thing in the market nobody has done things like this so there's no bridge here so we had several iterations that we could get the play out of the swing arm it's really stiff the the swing arm works very good it's not too stiff when you go in the corners it can be too stiff as well uh, but the these chunky looking things are are hollow and they're keyed in here similar to cr uh, cranks so they're not moving uh, separately and there's double bearings here and um, the good thing about this is we can actually make a suspension that we wanted we didn't have to compromise with the suspension it's it's really what we wanted we we wanted this kind of leverage ratios and anti-squat values and all that it's here we didn't have to compromise so for example if we talk about anti-squat and chain growths and all that uh, we could um, make the bike so that when you change gears the anti-squat value is always in this like within 10 percent of the range of of 100 percent of anti-squat this means that it doesn't affect your suspension when you pedal when you are in the sack so it's really efficient when you push the pedal the bikes go forward and there's no difference whatever gear you have so this is something that is not normal in most of the bikes many other suspension designs your anti-squat value changes throughout the the whatever chain ring you use so when you go our website you can see the graph where i tried to explain how how it works but that that explains a lot about how efficient the pedaling is uh on this bike also what what we wanted to improve was the chain growth so there's minimum chain growth as well and when you go through the travel you don't have so much slack chain i don't know if it makes any sense but the point being that when you go through big travel um when the when the a cage moves and then when the suspension retracts then you have loose chain around and the freewheel starts to rotate uh, because there's friction, the tires rolling, the set starts to roll and feeds the chain on top of the chain stay, and that brings the chain slap. So we don't have the chain stay, and we don't have that chain slap as well, and we don't have so much slack chain as well on this bike. So um, the top chain uh, device is sufficient. I didn't even use that in first two races, and I didn't drop the chain at all. So that as well is improved this is something that you don't necessarily notice in most of the time when you ride bikes but when you move into the bike that has this one covered it's it's usually noticeable so all of this together we wanted to improve our designs so here we go it's it's a new new design